Good morning, everybody. Thank you so much for being here. My name is Mindy Gasso. I'm the marketing manager at Laredo Medical Center. Such a privilege to be your mistress of ceremonies this morning. And before we get started, we'd like to, of course, start with a wonderful invocation from Reverend Monsignor James E. Harris. He is the parochial vicar of St. John Newman Church. Before I pray, let me say this. I am uh, very grateful that I'm here this morning. Not that I like these ceremonies because I really don't, <laughs> but I'm always grateful that this community ask someone to pray because it means that you remember God in all of your endeavors and that's a very important thing so I, I'm glad to be here because it shows that our community remembers that we need help from above for the things below. Thank you very much for your invitation. May the grace and peace of God our Father, the source of all blessings, be with you all. The work we are beginning today should enliven our faith and make us grateful. We know the familiar words of the psalm, if the Lord does not build the house in vain do its builders labor. Whenever we look to the interests of our neighbors or the community and especially our youth and to serve them, we are in a sense God's own co-workers. Let us pray for his help to this blessing. My brothers and sisters, that God will bring this construction to successful completion and that his protection will keep those who work on it safe from injury. Let us pray. O oh God, the builder of all things, you have placed on us the obligation of toil. Grant that the work we begin may better serve our lives and the lives of our youth through your goodness and through your goodness contribute to the spread of the kingdom of Christ who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Thank you, Reverend. Can we please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance by the Webb County Sheriff's Office? Come on. One, two, three. Come on. Three, seven. Come on. We could all start, please. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Order. Go. Thanks to the Sheriff's Office for that. Once again, everybody, you may take a seat. Thank you so much for being here this morning. Thank you, Judge Danny, for asking me to be the mistress of ceremonies. You know, it's overcast outside, but it might as well be beautiful and sunny because today is a great day. It's a day that has been long awaited, and we are so happy that this day has finally come. So with that, I'd like to invite the Honorable Jesus Chuy Garza to come up and say a few words. Um, thank you very much, Mindy. On uh, behalf of the Juvenile, Web County Juvenile Board, I want to welcome you this morning to this event. It's been more than close to 20 years in the making. It's a dream that started back in 1996, 97, when we had a totally different group of uh, commissioners. Uh, we had a county judge, Mercurio Martinez, back then, our commissioners, Jerry Vasquez. Our commissioners, uh, Michael Viales, our, I uh, believe, um, I'm not sure who the other, uh, Judy would get us, definitely was our commissioner back then. And uh, we had a totally different group of people who started this project with us. And I'm happy to, to know that this new set of commissioners and our county judge have uh, decided to close this particular era, hopefully soon, in doing the construction starting this. So I want to thank you on behalf of the Juvenile Board for all the hard work that you gave us especially this commission's court for getting it done. It took almost 20 years, but we're almost there, and we look forward to getting it done. More than 50 of our young people still medicate or have substance abuse issues on a daily basis. People who have no place to uh, go, 
they don't have the insurance, they don't have, they haven't committed a crime sometimes, they don't have a place to go. And I'm very grateful for the fact that SCAN, uh, Michelle Dabu, will be a partner for Egg County. Uh, we look forward to working with her. Like I mentioned, we have more than 50 kids. This facility is but a small payment um, uh, that will be starting, and I'm hopeful that one day soon the commissioner's school will be able to expand it. But again, on behalf of the Juvenile Board of Judges, the District Judges, County Courts of Law Judges, I want to thank you, our Commissioner John Galo, Ms. Tijerina, our County Judge Danny Valles, and uh, Jaime Canales, who was also involved. And one last point I want to make, I'm glad to see here Mr. Bueno was also part of the committee. Uh, we started this committee, like I said, back in 1996, 97. Uh, some of you are still here. A lot of you are still here from the commission, from the Juvenile Department. So again, it's been almost 20 years in the making, but uh, we're almost there. So I want to thank you all for, for your support. Thank you. Thank you, Judge. We're so privileged this morning to have three of our county commissioners with us, and of course, you all are the ones that made it happen. So our blessings go out to you guys and to all of those that had a hand in it. I'd like to invite the Honorable Wawi Tijerina to come up and say a few words. Thank you. Thank you, Lydia. And I promise you I'm going to make it short. I know we have a lot of speakers today. But uh, first of all, I want to thank God for allowing us to be here this morning. What a beautiful morning. I agree with Mindy on that. And uh, to be quite honest with you, Judge Garza is correct. It was uh, through the efforts of all prior administration and this administration have made this project come into fruition. Uh, I know that this is much needed in our community. We do have a lot of children who are dependent on drugs. And of course, a lot of times, it's better for us to rehabilitate them instead of putting them behind bars. Uh, a lot of these children do not deserve to be behind bars. They deserve to be rehabilitated because once we do that, we can make them productive members of our society, and that is our main goal. With that said, I'd like to thank each and every one of you for being here. I'd like to wish each and every one of you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year with your loved ones. God bless you. We're also fortunate this morning to have with us the Honorable John Galo. Mr. Galo, if you can come up and say a few words. Again, good morning all. I just want to applaud my colleagues who had the, the vision and the foresight to get this done. All of you that have been part of this, obviously I was not, not a member of the team yet. And so again, I just applaud you on your efforts, your, your foresight, your vision. And then to all those caregivers out there, the ones who make this place work, you know, it takes a special person to, to do this on a daily basis. So again, I want to thank all of you who give that, that care every single day to these children that need it so, so desperately. And again, all I can do is, is tell you thank you, and on behalf of the Commissioner's Court, we're going to get this thing done. Thank you. And we also have with us the Honorable Jaime Canales, working in the educational system. I'm sure you see firsthand how needed this facility is, if you can come up and say a few words. Thank you, Mindy. Uh, uh, Let's give a round of applause to all of the people that are, have put this together and worked for so many years. And, uh, I, think, I think all of us uh, here share the same calling, and, and that's why we're all here today. Um, but personally, I've seen firsthand uh, the negative effects that uh, drugs have on, on a community, on families, on, on our youth, and I really believe that this is a facility that is going to begin saving lives. We have um, many kids who, who go through, through this terrible ordeal, and only they know what they go through, but the, the caregivers, the caretakers, you all who are here today, understand what they go through. And I think one life is, is just too many. It's, it's just too many to lose. So I think that um, having SCAN run this facility and this future site is going to be a, a great benefit to our community. And, and I've always said that we keep the family unit here in Laredo uh, and we don't have to send our kids off to other cities to take care of them. And that's going to be a big help for families who many of them do not have the means to 
to, uh, to take care of their children who have drug addiction. So for that and for so many who have contributed throughout the years since the year 2000, like Judge Garza said, going back to 96, uh, you went a little back, a little <laughs> further back, Judge, because you're a little older, I think. But, <laughs> but um, I, I just thank each and every one of you who, who, uh, who have been part of this. And like Commissioner Galo said right now, we're going to get it done. And hopefully within a year we have this facility um, working for our, youth, for, for our kids. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you, Commissioners. As it was mentioned, we have a wonderful organization in town who is going to manage this center, and I'd like to bring up the President and CEO to say a few words about that. That's Ms. Isela Dabdud. Good morning, everyone. Thank you so much. I want to congratulate Judge Garza and the Commissioner's Court from Webb County, as well as the Juvenile Board of Judges and Judge Danny Valdez for having had the vision and the perseverance to continue with this project and now it's in fruition. We will see it hopefully in the next year. Uh, SCAN is very happy to be a part of this project. We have been providing substance abuse treatment services in this area since 1993. So we are looking forward to continuing to work on this project, to work with the Webb County Juvenile Department, with Ms. Mojica, and hopefully to provide services and to save the lives of many youth in our community. Thank you so much, and everybody have a Merry Christmas. This morning we have someone representing Melissa Mojica. If we can have with us Jesus Del Toro come up and say a few words. He's the facility administrator. Thank you, Ms. Del Toro. here for coming to help us and commemorate the last phase of the Webb County Youth Village. Ms. Mika wanted me to express her gratitude as well as uh, her being sorry for not being here. The drug uh, rehab is going to help us better serve the juveniles that we care for as well as the community. Roero has long needed a facility to help us combat drug addiction and we thank the judges, Judge Valdez, the county commissioners for making this reality and of course our juvenile board which we have. Thank you. Thank you. keynote address this morning, I would like to also recognize some of the folks who, like they say, boots on the ground, our representatives from UISD and LISD who are here today. Can, can we see everyone who's here from our school districts who are here today, if you can raise your hand or stand up. Mr. Canales, thank you for being with us this morning. Of course, without the partnership of our school districts, you know, we, we can't get things done, so we really appreciate our school representatives representing us today or being here representing their school districts today. Now moving on, we have a keynote address by a very special person. We have Judge Danny Valdez with us, who has been with this project for quite some time already. If we can please have Judge Danny come up and give our address. I know that Wally well, we said we only have one minute, so I'm gonna try it with Wally. But before I do that, first of all, I want to wish everybody a Merry Christmas, and I'd like to ask uh, Eddie Quiroga, where's Eddie? Eddie, to join me over here, Eddie. I know that, you know, I bug him a lot. In fact, I, I think I talk to Eddie more than I talk to my wife. Uh, but I think Eddie and his team have been, have been very instrumental uh, in, to make, in making sure that this project uh, is here. Uh, I want to thank, of course, a lot of people. Uh, because I just got some mention, it's a project that's been been here for a long, long time. But actually, more than anything, uh, the commissioners' court uh, of commissioners that have been involved, uh, they've been mentioned before. But I always say it, it's a team. You know, it's not about me. It's it's about a team. And I want to thank them because you know, initially when I took office eight years ago with Commissioner Tijerina, we only had one component of the original concept that Judge Garza and his team. Uh, you know, started the concept many, many years ago about a village. And when we, when we took office, Commissioner Dehiri and I, you remember, we only had this component. And to me, the most important component of the village should have been the rehab. I think all of us, Commissioner Canales, Judge Garza, Commissioner Dehiri Mr. Bueno, I remember sitting down at Pizza Hut, Pizza Hut talking to you about this, this concept. Um, all of us have been involved with juvenile issues. 
uh, Commissioner Tejerina, when uh, you were with the uh, Municipal Court, Commissioner Canales, the schools, Commissioner Galo, all of us have been involved with, with juvenile issues at one point or another. And I'm going to share a story. Uh, I'm going to take a little bit more than, than a minute because this is very special to me. This is something that, that, I start, that I pushed for when I took office. There was one major project that I wanted, that I wanted to finish was the Youth Village because it was watered on by the taxpayers many, many years ago. Uh, but of course, we didn't have the funding. The original 11, I think it was 11, 12 million, maybe, that was voted on by the, by the, by the community uh, was not enough to, to cover the three components because it just took so much time. So we only had one component uh, when I took office eight years ago, which is the, the detention facility. But again, going back to, to the original concept, the JJP was important, or is important, probably the second most important component but to me, the drug treatment facility, the detox, or the, uh, was the most important component. Uh, and I want to thank Eddie. I know that you know we we bug him a lot, you know, about it because I think that you know he's the one that and his team that is working to get this thing completed. And I want to thank you, Eddie, for for what you've done. And hopefully, like the commissioners mentioned, within the next year, you know, this will be completed. But I want to just to give a give uh, the community, the public, an idea of what has transpired. Uh, if you can kind of take us through, through the, uh, the election, uh, the concept, uh, Judge Godson's vision and his team, at least for the public to know how difficult it's been. Yes, sir. Hello, my name is Ed Quiroga. I'm the project administrator for Metaform Studio. I'd like to have Kennedy Whitey and Rick Solis, uh, project architects, up here with me because they've been part of this uh, youth village concept since 2001. Uh, the first thing is, uh, when the, the idea started, there was a referendum on the project and there was a petition that was signed that was orchestrated by some of the staff members, some of the parents and, and members of the Webb County uh, Probation Department. Um, a little difficult because prior commissioner's courts were not embracing the whole idea. Uh, unlike our current commissioner's court that, that is very uh, embracing this whole idea, this project started in 2001. Uh, this project was constructed in 2006. It includes the probation offices, uh, detention center, and courtroom. The whole idea about the project is, is that there's a constant with kids that there's always a second chance. And that's why the, we're in this lobby right now that facilitates that to parents because usually parents come in here thinking that it's the end of the world and it's not with the help of the of, Webb County, there's, we know that they might get it, they will get a second chance. This is the last component of the, of the youth village, and, and before we, we summarize, Judge, there's a quote here that started back in uh, 2001, and something that uh, Judge Garza was very fond of and kept talking about, that, and I'd like to just read it. We worry about what a child will become tomorrow, yet we forget that that child is someone today, and that's the most important thing, and that, that just complements the whole idea of the youth village project. <clears throat> Thank you, Eddie. And again, going back to our, I guess, our roots when we started, when I started uh, 32 years ago, uh, I'm going to share a story that I shared with the commissioners, you know, in my last commissioner's court meeting, uh, when I was a justice of the peace of, uh, of a young man, a young boy, he was 10 years old when he, when he went to court. Uh, back then, we didn't have, we didn't have the services that we have now. I'm talking about 30, 32 years ago. And this young man was 10 years old, and he came from a broken home. <clears throat> and he was involved, already involved in, in drugs, involved in gangs, gang activity at the age of 10. And I remember talking to this, this young man about the consequences of what could happen if he didn't change his life, uh, the direction that he was headed to. Of course, we didn't have the services like we have today, like SCAN, you know, the facilities, the, the counseling to be able to help uh, this young man and Mr. Bunny, you can attest to that going back. We didn't have the alternative schools like, like we have now. I remember talking to him about what could happen if it didn't change his life, I'm talking to his dad and his mom. Uh, of course, he didn't listen. He kept on. Uh, he ended up coming back to court at the age of 12. He was already involved heavily in drugs. Uh, he was already uh, being used by the gangs. And I remember again talking to the, to the mom and the dad, look, it was just a matter of time before he ends up either dead, in jail. You know, that's where he's headed. Of course, if we would have had the rehab facility, if we would have had uh, the services, I think he would have been here today because 
I ended up having to go pronounce him dead at the age of 12 uh, with a gunshot wound to the head. Um, and I carry him with me to this day because I always second guess myself, what could we have done differently? But if we would have had something like this, Anastasio Ledesma would, have, would be with us today. <clears throat> but again, you know, I, uh, this is difficult because again, we've been through that, all of us have been through that, that have dealt with these issues. Uh, but I'm very happy uh, as I leave my 32 years in public office, this is the epitome of what I have done uh, through in the past 32 years. So, Judge, thank you, uh, and I look forward to getting the keys to the facility. Uh, I know there's over 80,000 students out of this community. I'm glad to see the school districts here. Uh, but we're going to continue to work, continue to work with the Commissioner's Court. I'm glad to hear that, you know, Commissioner Galo, Commissioner Canales, Commissioner Tijerina, Commissioner Charafa uh, will continue to work with, with our families and our youth. So again, thank you very much for being here this morning, Eddie. Uh, again, congratulations. Uh, I know that we, we have funding and we might need a little bit more, but at the end of the day, I think this is, this is I guess, something really, really big for the community and for the kids. Thank you very much. At this time, the judge would like to uh, call people up here to give you a commemorative coin. Judge Garza, would you like to help the judge, please?
That's it. I didn't get one. Yeah. You got it. <laughs> 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 <laughs>